Well, very windy Norfolk beach at the moment. We've come up to Horsey Gap where the seals and the seal pups uh, are abundant at this time of year. Let's take a look. Welcome to Grey Matters. Hello and welcome to Grey Matters on this very windy day. Grey Matters is a channel that promotes the fact that the older generation still matters and looks at issues that matter to the older generation. And today we're at Horsey Gap to do a little bit of seal watching. Horsey Gap is probably the best place in Norfolk to see the seals in winter. There are no limits as to how long you can stay, how far you can walk and how you spend your time there. Although if there are roped off areas you must adhere to them for the sake of the seals. Wheelchair accessibility is not good. There's a steep incline up to the top of the dunes and the sand up there is very soft. The seals arrive at Horsey in late October, early November, and they stay there until early February. Although today, and this is the 22nd of Feb, the uh, seal wardens tell us that they're probably going to be there for another three weeks at least. So there's a big window of opportunity for you to visit. Now they say the best time to see the pups is probably early December. Horsey Beach had nearly 4,000 seals born in the 22 to 23 season. Even today on our visit, the seal wardens reckon there were about 2,500 seals on the beach. We tried counting them to get an idea of numbers, and on the stretch we were viewing, we reckon there was well over a thousand. It's not an easy life for a seal pup. Mum will raise them, feed them and protect them for about three weeks after birth and then they're on their own. They'll live off their milk and fat reserves for a few weeks but will then have to venture into the sea to catch their own food. If you want to know how to tell the boys from the girls, well the girls are a light grey with dark spots and the males are dark with light spots. They're also larger than the females. So if the seal pups are born around December, why are they still on the beach in February? Well, the answer is that they're shedding their fur. Once a year, they shed their old fur, which is replaced by a brand new coat. And this is why the pups are no longer those cute furry white balls of fluff, but they're now cute furry balls of gray mottled fur. The seals avoid going into the sea during the molt as the fur needs to be dry in order to shed. However, if the humans get too close, it can start a mass exodus into the water until they feel safe again. And this is one reason why it's so important to keep your distance. The wardens there insist that you're a minimum of 10 metres away, but it's best to be further away. These seals can be very aggressive. hear me for the wind but uh, there are around two and a half thousand seals on the beaches here and uh, you'll have heard all about uh, them in the commentary. We're now going to find something to eat. 
Well, we did in fact find somewhere to eat just down the road at Poppyland's, a 1940s tea room. It's an amazing place, completely themed for wartime Britain, with so much memorabilia and artefacts, you could spend more time looking around than eating. The menus are imaginatively designed, and the food is brilliantly listed with names such as Royal Engineers Toad in the Hole, Lancaster Bombers Bangers and Mash, or how about Air Raid Sandwiches, or Women's Land Army Soup of the Day. I had the suet pudding, and uh, yes, one of the best I've had. The food is home cooked and delicious. Well, that rounds up our visit to North Norfolk to Horsey Gap to see the seals and the seal pups. Hope you enjoyed the trip. If you like the content, please uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. There's plenty more content, which is we try to keep quite varied uh, coming up in the future. Until the next time, though, on Grey Matters, thanks for joining us and bye for now. Thank you.